Hello viewers and welcome to a brand new episode of Mechanic Brewery, where I review the various homebrew mechs created by the Lancer fandom, Field Guide to McCain Special. In today's episode, Grote Slang, from McCain, by NHP Shaka, but first, since Field Guide to McCain has an update which of course changed the core bonuses and I butho a bit because of course it has to get updated right after I made a video about it goddammit so I just gonna talk about what has changed. First, the core bonuses, chest formation now gives you over shield automatically at half health as well as heat resistance once per structure, left horn formation is now simply a better overwatch that deals half damage, right horn formation has been completely revamped, it now gives invisibility and soft cover to you when you are exposed. Loin formation has also been rewritten, it now allows you to brace without sacrificing anything for once per scene, but you can do it twice per scene at the cost of being exposed and slowed until the scene ends, which mean unless you are really desperate, I don't suggest you doing it twice. Next, the frame itself, position the bull thrusters now allow extra movement before or after the ram in any direction, bull's horn deals some heat now at a slightly higher health threshold, chest formation triggers on any weapon attack, and break chains is now an actual passive core power and shaka also goes absolutely insane when rolling one on cascade roll. For the rest of the license, reinforced subdermal plating now works for, well it said 10 plus grit on the itch.io page but it said a goddamn 12 plus grit in the field guide which basically makes your frame bloody invincible, if you brace. Ingoma has the dance part changed, you now take a bit of damage but for once per round if any enemy attacks you or your allies, you can immediately stab them and it doesn't count as a reaction, which is good and you might be able to get two attacks out of one quick action if there's some reaction fire coming your way, but it also only affects one character at a time, so choose wisely. The crushing now lets you put mark not just three spaces from you but also three spaces from each other, reaching possibly nine spaces through daisy chain, and finally, project the icon to renders you completely immune to knock prone and knock back when activated. Now, let's actually move on to the Grote Slang. Grote Slang, is a legendary cryptid that is apparently dwelling in a deep cave somewhere in Richtersfeld, South Africa. According to the legend, God made Grote Slang as one of the creatures that will inhabit our world, making it as ancient as the world itself, and then they also decided to give it immense strength, cunning, and intellect, then God realized, that was a big fucking mistake, did I also mention that Grote Slang looks like an elephant head on a big snake body, with possibly gems for eyes. Anyway, to prevent other creatures like prehistoric monkey boy from going extinct due to hyper-intelligent elephant snake civilization, God split up the Grote Slang into elephant and snake, which perfectly explains why snake is so goddamn smooth, but, one managed to escape into a cave called, Wonder Hole, or Bottomless Pit, I might not have gotten the correct name, and since then, it hunts elephants for food by luring them into its cave, presumably swallowing whole like a snake, also the cave it dwells in is rumored to be covered in diamonds, so of course people tried searching for it and inevitably got killed by the land. Grote Slang, the frame, while being a lot different than the legend, can support others to defend what it saw as its land fiercely. Looking at its stat, the Grote Slang is a gigantic mech with lots of protections from armor and health, with good amount of repair cap, but it doesn't move fast, like at all, it does have a decent E defense, base systems points, heat cap, and an amazing 15 sensor range, making it a very tough E warfare platform. As for its traits, it has three of them, first, firing platform, just make the guns of all allies around it more accurate, second, conqueror's strategy targeting link systems, for once per round an ally could just use Groot's Lang's weapon to attack instead like the turret section so common in so many 20th century shooter games, but only as a skirmish, so super heavy is not gonna work well for Groot's Lang. Third, protective plating, when Groot's Lang stabilizes, everyone around it gets so much over shield, in short, everyone should stick around Grote Slang to maximize the support it can provide, and everyone can shoot more accurately too so things will die faster. As for the weapon mounts, it has two, one flex and one heavy. Onto the core power, Grote Slang can activate Umethato's grand design to defend and conquer the Endel, which basically just upgrades its traits, like firing platform now gives twice as much accuracy and the targeting link systems allows everyone in the team to fire the same gun in the same round. Look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. Also, a nearby ally could help Grote Slang reload one mount faster. To put it shortly, you just want to support the Grote Slang with firepower so it can upgrade your firepower for even more firepower so more enemies will stay dead because firepower and less harm will come your way, the perfect strategy. Firepower as for the rest of the license, 
you get McCain's hand and reactionary reposition thrusters in the first section. McCain's hand, a weapon made to conquer, is to simply put, a big fucking gun, inaccurate, but AP, and deal quite a lot of damage in a line 10 pattern, that's gonna hurt, but it needs to be reloaded after each shot. That's not all either, at the end of the beam, the surrounding area gets hot for at least a round, and anyone that starts their turn in it gets burned. To simply put, this thing is going to do a lot of damage and deny some areas to the enemies, that's about it. Reactionary reposition thrusters, is exactly what it said, as a reaction to getting damaged by an attack, you can immediately carry a couple of your nearby allies and move your speed in any direction with them, possibly running over the guy that just shot at you, knocking their ass on the floor, which means you and all of your allies can now murder the fuck out of them with ease. Aside from Grote's Lang frame itself, you get self-guiding combat shielding and McCain's retribution in the second section. Self-guiding combat shielding, are essentially remote control meat shields, upon activation, you take some heat and deploy a number of shields, not drones, shields, up to your armor rating which can fly out to your sensor range and provides both hard cover and a single point of damage negation to your allies, like an armor, however, you might not have any armor now so don't get shot. With a quick action, you can get the shields to move by 3 spaces, if someone happens to be in the way, they take a bit of damage, you can also recall them, gain back your armor and also fully repair the shields, but if some of the shields got destroyed, you can take 2 damage each to get them back. These shields are perfect if you find yourself not getting attacked as much as your allies and they need protection like, right now. Fakane's Retribution, Abolish the Colonizers, is a weapon mod where on hit, you can expend a limited charge to make the target gains resistance to the attack, but 3 other hostiles within range take 2 AP damage each, meaning this mod is more effective the smaller the gun is, good for multiple targets that's for sure. In the final section, you get Glitch Pulse Wave and Vacane Stamina. Glitch Pulse Wave, glitch out enemy fires a bit, basically, until the end of your next turn, you and any allies close to you or your deployable will get soft cover and also get to be temporarily invisible against one attack in a round, but you also take heat each time the invisibility is used, and it also takes a full action. However, this does mean that compared to LVOC cloaking field, this can be used at a further range if you have set up deployables around already, like the self-guiding combat shielding. Finally, Vacane's stamina, continue till they break, I'm sorry, but after making so many videos for Flying Circus, this name just sounds like an innuendo anyway, you and your nearby ally can spend a quick action to expend a limited charge which reload all loading weapons you and all your nearby allies have, this is like quick reload on all the nitro, but, at the end of your turn, you also take 2 heat for each weapon reloaded this way, so, I don't recommend helping out a 7 hand cannons Raleigh this way unless you are very confident in your heat capacity, but if some of your allies also use loading weapons, this can be very helpful. To sum up the Grote Slang, I suggest you just grab a duct tape and tie up the entire team around it because then it can do its role best, and the more guns the team has, the better the Grote Slang can help them. Of course, some NPC hard counter this like, very hard, so I suggest you make them primary target to make sure that doesn't happen, as for the license, you can find a lot of tools that can both protect you and your allies, and a lot of systems that up the firepower you can provide. If you like support through superior firepower, you will like the Grote Slang a lot, anyway that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some coffee. links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.